Welcome to the greenhouse, place of alchemical miracles. Splendid! The esteemed master of the tower, how may Barbados brighten your day? I have all I need, but we are close here to the Oribus Fjords, are we not? I have heard rumors of an alchemist who lives there in a cave in the mountains. His spellbook contains potent recipes, or so I have heard. So maybe you could borrow it? I'll be experimenting till you return. Thereafter. All I need for a good creature, not for an ultimate one. Yes. Yes, there is such a beast. But bring me the limbs, for I will have need of them. A deep cave in the Orobas Fjords houses the creature. It is rumored. Find it. Show it steel and piercing pain. I'll maim and kill alone. <laughs> this is an impressive location to be sure. Ready to get busy? Great. I was apprehensive at first, but now I've come to realize what a great opportunity this is. To have such powers at my disposal, to work for a Dragon Knight who opposes the Black Ring against all odds. One thing bothers me though, a matter of unfinished business if you like. There is a man, Morgan's his name, who is very much enamored with me and gave me my necklace. Though he always loved me more than I loved him, I feel it would be cruel of me to simply keep him in the dark about my whereabouts. I'd be very much obliged if you'd return the necklace to him and let him know he must move on. He won't be too difficult to find as he is a harbour master in the Orobus Fjords. It's not a pleasant thing to do, but my mind is made up. My place is here now, with you. Let's get it on.
another one to add to the collection. My humble shop in Alaroth is nothing compared to this platform and its machinery. I think I'll be able to afford you some fantastic pieces. This is the best enchantment smithy I've ever seen. But now that you mention it, there are specific supplies that could improve it even more. My assistant, Lister, was on his way back from Broken Valley to the harbour in Oribus Fjords when I was spirited away by the island. He was transporting a shipment of goods I bought from Dirk, a smith in the valley, which I could use to create some unique enchantments. Maybe you could verify his safe arrival in the fjords and bring me the shipment. If you have the time and desire to do so, great dragon knight. Of course, of course. That goes without saying. Right away! How can I help you, my leech? See you later. Forget Dragonite, but you may use the stone to instantly treat into a battle. I bet that hurt. Pitiable louse! Hello there. I'm Crab, Mine Prospector. Oh yes, the Orobas Fjords are filled with riches, if you know where to dig. 
It's no wonder the Dragon Knight Orobas was so rich. All the mines belong to him. Now, mining has become rarer because of the abundance of goblins and wyverns. The most prominent active quarry is in High Hall, a mountain hamlet about an hour's walk away. By prospecting, of course. I was sent to check if a mine that was closed after some accidents two years ago might still be viable for excavation. I'd barely entered the place when the spear of an imp tried to carve me a third nostril. Perhaps you could get rid of that vermin. You sure look capable enough. They'll have a leader, so chop off its head and the rest will be as good as gone. If you look out to sea from here, it's just around that headland. I don't have a boat, however, so it might be a bit of a problem to get there. Be safe now! Excuse me, Traveller, but might you be one of the four? Ah, well, one morning I found a note and part of a seal slipped under my door. The note told of great treasure in an old tomb somewhere here in the Oribus Fjords, and of three other explorers with parts of the seal. We must unite at the tomb and claim the riches. Now that you know it, perhaps you can find the others. This is a dangerous area and some may have perished. I haven't a clue. Many heroes fought and perished here over the centuries. If you really explore the Oribus Fjord thoroughly, I think you'll find that an old tomb isn't the most startling discovery. I didn't recognize the handwriting, nor do I know who might let us undertake such a quest. I just hope this is the real thing and not some wild goose chase. I'm off to locate the tomb. Hopefully I'll meet you there later. How scared I was! Oh, you! Yes, yes, of course. I'm still a bit nervous, though. <laughs> Ew. Lucky it's laundry day. Listen, take this, yes? Least I can do. Least. I'm off then! Thank you, Slayer!
There is a presence among these cliffs. The waterfall. Blast! I'm out of spells! Something new here. A very powerful being. Why shouldn't I keep it? It brings out my eyes. Your eyes are pretty enough without that ring on your finger. It's just not proper. A body washed up on the beach and I took this beautiful ring from it. I mean, I'm sorry the poor man's dead and all that, but it's not like he has any use for it anymore. Karen? How can you be so uncaring? We must find out who this man is and return the ring to his family. Well spoken, Slayer. Come, Karen. We have some detective work to do. Oh, all right. I guess it's the proper thing to do. Pity, though, how it sparkles. You big goody goody you. Another one to add to the collection. Take my dragon form here. Arise, my pet!
I cannot take my dragon form here. The bunker looks like it's well protected, probably for good reason. <coughs> I cannot take my dragon form here. Shiny. <clears throat> this teleporter has Camp Sentinel View written on it. Its destination is Camp Eagle's Nest. The control panel has been destroyed. You step away. Go get them, boy! Is the Dragon Knight, my dear. Ensnared by the Black Ring and unable to shapeshift into its fire-spewing self. How kind the serpent is, my sweet, to so openly walk into our little trap, almost like it wants to be slaughtered. Quite considerate indeed, my darling. Which is why I would suggest we return the courtesy. You're always the gentleman, my cherished, and I quite agree. Let us see what music it makes when we pierce its flesh. Then we'll drink its blood by the fire, my precious, and make jubilant love. <laughs> <coughs>
This will help. Another one to add to the collection. No, please don't hurt me. Oh, to find be praised. I'm Olivia Slayer, captain of this little citadel, until my entire command was wiped out today. Still, I thank you for saving me, and please feel free to take anything you may find useful in this room. I shall travel back to Alaroth, but before I go, is there anything you want to ask of me? They came from within. A portal opened and there they were. Before I even saw a definite shape, all lay dead in dark red pools. I was spared by their leaders, but only to serve in some perverse ritual later. It would have been of indescribable horror. Oh, they can be found all over the fjords. Oribus. The Dragon Knight, who ruled here before the Great War, had them installed to allow fast and safe travel through the region. Your order banned the use of all devices connected to dragons, but Augustus, Alaroth's most senior champion, allowed us to operate them anyway. I don't know how you feel about that, but I'd advise you to either make use of them, or be prepared to do a lot of walking and dangerous climbing. Divine Blessing, Slayer. No, halt! You win, dragon. We surrender. What? No, he won't, you rotten coward! The dragon just killed Lord John and Lady Kara. You really think we can take it down? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, we surrender. <laughs> uh, uh, and we'll trade with you. I have unique magics to offer. And I, the best the ringsmiths can fashion. We have a deal, dragon. May it be the damned one's will. Shiny. Shiny. Dragon, demon, it's all the same to me. As soon as it turns its back on me, I'll slit its throat. No! No, no! Uh, uh, <laughs> Tossed by the joke! A stupid thought! Oh, don't, don't get mad, dragon. I'll, uh, I'll lower my prices. That's right! Cheapest magic you've ever seen. Good. Good.
Is it trading you're after? Blast! It found the girl. I never get a break. If I must...